you help me? And it would be the first of many. Bly House was already having its effect on her. Way clean now that someone's living here. Would you mind if I joined you? I'd like to see the house in daylight. Of course not. Strange old place, isn't it? it must have been built by a madman. Yes, it is a bit spooky. I'll be your gal. But I can't promise anything more spooky than a spider or two. Don't go too far away. I might get lost. What's this? It's a carpet. No. No, this shape is like an animal. Oh, it's just a stain from a dead bird, I think. Quint used to stuff things. Birds, squirrels, anything that twitched. He stuffed them. Oh, don't worry, they were dead first. Taxidermy, we call it. What so do we? Mice wanted to keep some in his room. But I never allowed him to smell. Why did they bring it in still bleeding? I don't know. But they certainly left the stain for me to clean up. And that stain never would come up. It was the first time she had known space and freedom in her small, smothered life. Something that is often a disguise for a trap. One she was actually laying for herself, gathering and crouching, waiting to spring like a beast. In the period between tea and nap time, her private hour, she liked to call it, she wrote her letters. It's the strangest thing, Claire, but I often think of the pleasure my work here must give to the one who first pressured me. I'm actually beginning to think myself a remarkable woman, all alone here, tending to the matters at hand. And I sometimes imagine what it might be like if he were to suddenly appear.
up here. There was somebody up here watching. Probably someone who's lost. Uh, on our tower. Uh, what better place to see his way home? No, no, he, he had other intentions. We, we must go and call the police. Oh, the bailiff is so blind, he never knows what he sees. I go and look myself. No, you can't. Don't worry, Miss. Nothing happens here. Come on, hurry down. It'll be dark soon. She locked the doors and bolted the windows. But locks and bolts cannot keep all things at bay. So she maintained her guard. Against the intruder she feared was more than just the traveler who'd lost his way home. Like Madame Gross had said. It's nice having you here, Miss Jenny. I'm from the show, Dad. Nice being here with you, too. Thank you, Miss Jenny. Blonde hair. And he was wearing a white ruffled shirt. And he he, he had earrings. He was he was wearing earrings. And and a beard. Do you know him? Go on. His eyes were Well, that's a relief. I mean, if we think we know who it is, we'll simply oh, call Miss the police. Jenny, you won't be calling the authorities about Quint because he's dead. He's dead. Quint is dead. It's impossible. I, I just—it's true. How did he die? One night last winter, they found him on the road from the pub, stone dead. His skull was smashed in. Was he murdered? They say it slipped on the ice, but who knows? Nobody liked him. Except the master, of course. And Miles. I go to see the children, and I bring you a hot drink with a little something for the girl. Yours and mine. the second time I frightened you. Oh, yes. Oh, my... Thank you. What is it, miss? You see something that every rule of logic tells you shouldn't be there. But it is. 